Hi guys, so this is part two of the uh, Impressionism with watercolors video. So I have another one that just kind of was an intro to how I started this and where it started and kind of going through a couple of different iterations of this painting. So we used one of my favorite paintings from Monet from a park in Paris and we are kind of creating this painting with watercolor. So um, I am going through and sketching everything out with the watercolor and uh, yeah, it, um, just kind of trying this new technique, trying this new way of painting. So I have done this in a time like it does take quite a long time uh, to do, but it's a really fun process and it's really interesting kind of trying to think about the colors that you want to use and also how they will blend uh, as you place them on top of each other and as you kind of build up the painting in those ways. So I, you can see here that I am using the palette that I have swatched, my favorites palette, and uh, I'm using every green <laughs> in the palette, um, starting from the dark greens like Terra Vert to the Fuchsite to the green gold and composed green. I'm using the French ochre and you can see there at the top under the leaves. So I've kind of used that as a bit of a shadow there. I'm using the raw umber violet at the end. I use that um, to put in shadows as well. But here I'm using the rhodonite, the uh, oranges that I have in the palette. And um, then I, I wanted to kind of set the feeling of like dusk, the park at dusk. So. I've used the lilac, sugalite, and um, the Daniel Smith Raw Umber Violet here to kind of create that mood. So you can see here that I have I am going from lightest to darkest. So because it's with watercolor, you're building it up differently than you would a um, oil painting. And so I'm putting the shadow colors in last. And you can see so the uh, raw umber violet and the terra vert they're all going on at the very end. And I don't need as much of those. So I'm also putting in those little figures, little impressionistic figures um, that he has there at the back of the park. So this is the third time that I have uh, attempted this painting. So the first time I did it in my sketchbook uh, the second time I did it on some Saunders Waterford cotton paper and I used a lot tighter, uh, thinner, um, you know, brush strokes. So I'll show you in a minute. So this is a lot looser, this third attempt. I've gone back to looser, larger um, brush strokes to try and get a little bit more movement and a little bit more feeling in the painting. So the this probably took me a little bit quicker you can see here all the colors that i've used so um, the second attempt took me quite a long time i was really focusing on getting those brush strokes small and really trying to create um, some atmosphere and just think about the technique and kind of um, how to create it but then I really wasn't happy with the tree in the middle so I wanted to do this one again and I didn't want to take as much time in case you know I didn't like the tree again um, so I just kind of did a quicker version to um, try out uh, you know another tree and see how that works so you can see in the second one I did like the trees better on the right and I just didn't really take as much time on them in the third uh, attempt just you know because I was mainly focusing on that middle tree 
So I think this is, um, hopefully you can see here, so the that was the first attempt, this is the second attempt, and then this is the third attempt. And you can see how the idea comes from the sketchbook onto a painting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have and I will be on the lookout now for somewhere we can, you know, to find a park or a place or Central Park or the Botanic Garden, somewhere we can go and create a, a painting like this and a composition of our own. And let's see, so, and I also wanted to just let you know a few of the things coming up. So I've had quite a lot of requests about color wheels and I think, um, so I've posted some pictures in the past on Instagram, which have had quite a lot of interest. And then I think Eret's done some really lovely color wheels. I really enjoyed that series. So um, I, I had a video th three, maybe three years ago prepared and like a color wheel prepared and everything. And I just never got around to doing that video. So I thought um, we'll finally get to sort of show you how I create uh, color wheels and the types of things I like to do. And yeah, there's some other um, videos here. So again, like we're sort of going through the sketchbook and I'm showing you the kinds of things that I work on, things that inspire me or um, just different little uh, things that to put in the sketchbook. So one of the things for me is interiors. So we go through and when we're doing the, we're doing, we do kind of a little plaid a video about iridescent colors and so we create this kind of check pattern like plaid pattern with um, you know watercolors and iridescent colors uh, over the top of those and then because the page was just quite plain I really wanted to use that page to um, add something and I was thinking about making it a picnic blanket and doing sort of some picnic baskets and things like that but I decided just to go with an interior scene so I have I create this little couch and these uh, wall sconce chandeliers and a mirror and uh, we go through and do that in a uh, video. So I also have some not great news so feel free to mute this now and I totally understand but um, I, my sister ended up having a hemiplegic migraine last week and she ended up in the ER this week. And I just wanted to um, sort of dedicate these videos to her. Monet's one of her favorite artists and she's the one who has kept me interested in art all these years and kept it um, within arm's reach. So taking her to the art shops, I was thinking about watercolors and brushes and all these things. and. Um, she has been the one who's wanted me to get into um, oil painting and things like that and so I um, I just wanted to ask you if you could um, leave her some well wishes um, to get better soon under this video I would really appreciate that and I'm sure she would as well so um, thank you for being here and I will see you guys next week bye